What up guys, Harry Wilmington here, and I am still here in Bali, but I am here today to answer a question from a guy that's actually inside of my Get Girls Academy. So when you join the Academy, you get more access to me because I will be more apt to answer emails about your dating questions right away because you're paying a monthly fee to be inside of the Get Girls Academy. And so I wanna give you guys answers as quickly as possible. And so more often than not, I'll send emails. But I wanted to go through this particular situation because this guy, prior to joining my community, he's been talking about this girl on previous lives I did on YouTube and I answered them. And so I figured it would be a good way for you guys to see how deep I dive into these questions you guys give me when you're in the Get Girls Academy because this is a, this is a situation where because he has more access to me, he can get quicker answers versus having to wait like a week or two for a video to drop answering your question, you know? So hopefully for the guy watching this, I hope it's okay that I'm sharing this. If it's not, let me know and I'll just put it in the members area. But anyway, so here's his situation. So he's been dating this girl for a while and it was a girl he initially met that he had a hard time initiating kiss with. And so anyway, he was able to make that happen. So here's the situation. He says, there's a follow up uh, for the girl that I didn't attempt to kiss after the first few dates. It eventually happened. Uh, we see each other once a week. I take her out and usually make dinner when we're getting back from our dates. We recently hooked up a few times and she made a comment the other night when we were in bed. And she said, quote, I'm only exclusive with you. Do you know that or do you not believe me? She just said this randomly without me discussing feelings. So first of all, guys, this is a great example of what happens when you as the guy are not trying to mouth your emotions and feelings to a girl all the time is that over time, when you're not doing that, she's gonna start to get curious about what your feelings potentially are, and she's gonna start seeking out what your feelings are by first revealing her feelings. And this is the order in which things should go. We should always be waiting for women to start t verbalizing what their feelings are, what they're thinking about us, and what they're doing as a way of showing that they're falling more and more head over heels in love or in attraction with us. And so, the fact that this girl said to him verbatim, I'm only exclusive with you, do you know that or do you not believe me? What she's really trying to do in that moment is she's trying to verbalize feelings that she has. And the way she knows how to do that is to say an action. Oh, hey, we just hooked up and I want you to know you're the only one I'm doing this with. To her, that's her saying to you, I want you to know unequivocally that I am falling for you and I only want you. And that was a great place to be. That said, his response to that it could use some work. So when she said that, he said, um, he said, my dumb butt said, quote, well, I guess I believe you, but only time will tell or something like that. And she really took offense to that. Now, here's the thing, guy. When women are coming to you and starting to express emotions, it's okay to be jokey. Like, this is a situation where you're saying a thing, but based on how you wrote it, I can't tell if you were being jokey when you said it or if you said it in a very serious tone. If you said it in a way that was kind of jokey, then it would be taken a different way. But also to the point, this is one of those situations sometimes where early on, let's say you say something and maybe it's a little offensive or it could be something that could be potentially taken the wrong way. Sometimes when that happens, a woman is going to overreact to it. And sometimes she really feels that way, but sometimes it's also a test. Now, in this situation, I don't want to speculate that it is a test. I want, to, I want to say that regardless of whether it's a test or not, what you don't do in these situations is allow how she reacts to your comment to dictate how you go about. So in this case, when he said the thing, which again, I don't think it's the best thing he could have said. I think he could have just been like, you know, oh yeah, well sure, hey, you know, if that's what you say, then that's what it is, and you know, thanks for letting me know. Could have been simple, moved on. But the fact that he said, I guess I believe you, but only time will tell, that's a little thing that pushes a little doubt out there for her. And maybe in that moment, she was trying to create like a romantic moment or a romantic feeling that you guys could share. And that was thwarted by what he said. But at the point that she decided to take offense to that, rather than going with her what she said and acting like, oh my God, I said the most offensive thing, you shouldn't have done that. Because as I've said before on this show, women are gonna typically follow your lead, even in times where there's emotions happening. So if you say something and she reacts like, how could you say that? And your response is, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. That means you're now letting her lead what this is versus, let's say I've been in this situation, right? 
So she said, and I, and I said the thing he said, which I wouldn't say, but let's say I said it, right? And she was like, oh my God, I'm so offended. I would just be like, oh, you are? Oh, well, hey, it is what it is. But you know what? At the end of the day, you already said that you hooked on me, so it is what it is. Like, I would have been more jokey in my response. I would have, I would have acted as though the thing that she said in that moment is not all that serious. Now, I want to pause for a minute because I've said on previous videos that when women are feeling things or saying things, you do want to like read them and see what level of serious, seriousness it is. So I'm not saying you don't ever take what a woman's saying seriously ever, but this is one of those things where his comment wasn't offensive enough to warrant the kind of reaction she had but him doubling down on what she felt was only gonna make this go worse and worse because now it's like he's confirming and reconfirming and reconfirming her feelings about this when really that didn't need to happen. But anyway, so then he says, I tried to explain what I meant and she was doing the whole, no, it's fine, I know what you mean, don't worry, almost being cynical about it. It was late and she was leaving and did the whole kind of pulling away thing and I finally said, look, I know what I said was wrong and I apologize and I started to walk away kind of me showing the like, all right, I'm not gonna be behind you explaining myself. And she saw that, I meant it, so she grabbed my hand and gave me a kiss and said, I'll see you at the gym next week. So here's the thing, this is the point where, at the point that he turned around and said, look, you know, apologize, you know what, <laughs> okay, I, I've, I've said this in the video before, but I'll say it again here. Um, I, I'm not the, necessarily the biggest fan of the, the guy that's currently just won the electoral race, but I have said in the past, the one thing I would give him credit for is that he never apologizes. Anytime he has said a comment of some kind that people didn't like or, or took the wrong way or found offensive or downright racist and homophobic, which again, I'm not agreeing to those things at all, but the media would say he should apologize. He should say he's sorry, my blah, blah, blah. He has yet to do that and look how far he's gone. And I stress this because I think men have gotten into the habit of thinking that they need to apologize for every little thing that women are saying is offensive or that they find hurtful. And you always need to analyze if that's actually happening. But you also got to look at like women being emotional. There are going to be times when they're going to be butthurt by something that isn't actually a thing. But more importantly, even in those moments, they're looking at you to see what your reaction is to their reaction. And if your reaction agrees with theirs, and oh my God, I did say something offensive and it was so horrible, now they gotta double think, oh, so he agrees, what he said is horrible, oh my God. Versus if you're like, I mean, come on babe, is that really like, is that really a big deal? Like, you're going on, you know what? If you're gonna go on and on about that, I'm gonna go back in the bedroom and have fun without you because you're pushing a little bit right now, you know? And honestly, sometimes women need that. Like, the, the amount of women that I've heard say, I want a, woman, a guy sometimes to come in and just, you know, like set me straight and say, that's not a thing and say, stop that, you're being a baby or this, this, and that. Like, that exudes to them male strength. And they sometimes do things unintentionally in an attempt to see if the guy in front of them is going to have the male fortitude to follow the beat of their own drum and not apologize versus catering to her and sucking up me. I'm so sorry, I didn't realize the thing that I said it really hurt you. Like, and the thing, the reason guys do this is because we fear that if we don't apologize, we're going to lose women. And there were times I've been in relationships where uh, I'll be talking to a woman, we'll have an argument, and she really gets either offended by a thought about, I had about something or a feeling I had about something. And my response is just like, I mean, that's the way I feel about it. So if it hurts your feelings, like, that's on you, but that's not on me. But this is, you asked me for my opinion, or this is what I felt about it, or I said this thing, it wasn't intentional to hurt you, like it wasn't darn to anything. If you're taking it offensively, you have the right to, but I'm not gonna sit here and act like that should be a thing. And I've had women come back to me and say, I'm so sorry, or I realized I was tripping, or my mistake. Because women, women know that sometimes they're tripping over stuff that isn't really a thing, but for whatever reason, it's that time of the month, or they just had a bad day at work or whatever, they start feeling these things, and then you say something, and on a, any regular day, she wouldn't have been offended, and today she is, you know? But that's, again, that's why I say, it's not that you don't ever apologize, it's just that men have been taught to apologize for so many things that they don't need apologizing for, and that could be why you're losing out. So in this situation, I wouldn't apologize for crap. I would've been like, if she's like, well, I'm going home, I'd be like, okay, cool, well, let me know when you get home. I wouldn't have been like, no, please stay, I'm so sorry, oh my God, because that shows desperation. I'm not desperate at the end of the day for this woman to have to stay here. I don't think I said anything offensive, so if I don't feel that, and she does, that's on her. And there's a difference between, by the way, like his his uh, his comment objectively could be considered maybe light offensive because he said, 
oh, I guess I believe in only time will tell, but that's not even really an insult. So this is also one of those things too, guys, that you gotta be mindful. There are women out there that will feel insulted at the drop of the hat about anything that you say that is not going towards what she's feeling in the moment, you know? But some women, they live lives of, my, everything I do is super serious and everything's gotta be an issue level, and those women are hard to date. So also take this as like, maybe this isn't the woman you date if she's gonna be so super easily offended by this kind of stuff, you know? So there's a, a variety of ways you can read into this and take this. So then, so in, in the thing, he, he, she kissed him and said, I'll see you at the gym this week. And he said, that was on Wednesday. So I'm in, I'm in Bali now, so today's Saturday here, but I think it's like Friday where I live, right? So it's only been two days. She usually texts me once a day or so on her own accord, and I pace it out and sometimes don't reply. But this time she hasn't texted at all for a few days, which is fine because we shouldn't be texting, but I feel that whole situation kind of ruined it all. And now I know, and now I know why sometimes it's best not to always hook up even though you can. Well, this isn't that situation because the thing is this guy, like it's, it, again, you're writing me on a Friday. It's only been two days. So just because she would normally text you once a day and now she's not, hey, it could, she, she could have lost interest off the whole thing. That could very well happen. But also typically within dating and the ebbs and flows of dating, you're not gonna get the same amount of texting in the, uh, later on as you do in the beginning. So, you know, maybe she's thinking, okay, it's been two days. She had other stuff to do, or maybe she needed some time to cool off, or maybe she needed time to talk to her friends about this to have them say, hey, Chick, you're tripping, what are you doing, you know? And they just kind of left it alone. But suffice to say, it, it's only been two days. And I need, I need guys to stop thinking about, you know, I, if, I don't, if I don't hear text from her every single day, it's gonna be a bad thing. I, I've literally dated women where I didn't hear from them for like three or four days and things are fine, you know? Um, now that's not norm, because typically as they're getting more interest, they're gonna start to text a bit more. But again, it's been two days. So he then says, if we didn't hook up that night, that probably wouldn't have happened. Well, if you hadn't said the thing you said, then that may not have happened. But also, also, again, sometimes women are looking to start fights early on just to see how you're gonna react to stuff. And so you gotta be mindful of that also. So this could be a situation where she's not normally offended by the thing you said, but she's like, you know what? Today's the day to test out what he's made of. That could be a thing or it could not be a thing. The point is like, either way, the, the fact that you weren't understanding that if she's trying to create a moment, this isn't the time to like say some stuff like, well, I guess I'll believe you, but not later. Like that's not really the best thing to say. But you know, again, you gotta be mindful of when women are trying to do things that are trying to bond her closer to you versus push away. And if that's happening, the worst thing you could do is say stuff that's going to push her away or at least come up with better jokes if you're going to. So then he says, uh, basically she felt like uh, I was calling her a S-O-U-T without calling her one. Well, that's what you're saying, but that's not really what she's thinking. In the moment, she's just thinking that I'm trying to create a moment and he's ruining it, what's going on, you know? Uh, it's almost like the dynamic completely changed or maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. Yes, you're thinking about it too much. But the thing is, again, you're letting her emotions run the show on how this thing is going. So because you reacted to her reaction, now there's gonna be a bigger reaction and now it's gonna be made into a bigger situation than it actually is. So then he says, I'm not, react I'm not reaching out as I never initiate text, but she does. And now I haven't gotten anything. Yeah, I know it's only been a few days, but at least I'm catching on to know that little comments like that can cause problems and we may not even think it's that bad. Yeah, and that's the, that's the thing. At the end of the day, relationships are lessons and even people you've known for 10, 15, 20 years, you might unintentionally say the wrong thing and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, they're taking it super sensitive and you had no idea. And so that's gonna happen in any relationship, but especially new ones that you're building for the first time. Like, hey, you ran up against the wall, you said a thing that you know, that you now know she's gonna take offensively. I know there are some girls that if I dated them and said this, they wouldn't even think that it was a thing at all, but some girls, depending on how they grew up, their background, they can be super sensitive to this kind of stuff. That's why I tend to take my time filling that stuff out before I start throwing out stuff like this if I'm going to at all, you know? But yeah, it's a learning lesson. So you don't, so so on the off chance to see her next time, you don't go in there and re-apologize. Hey, just wanna say again, you know, I'm really, really sorry that I said the thing, blah, blah, blah. Don't bring up old stuff. Like, cause if, if she agrees to see you again, she's not trying to bring up old stuff. So, you know, just keep it as it is. But in the meantime, in terms of what would I recommend you do, my mantra is this, is that in asking somebody out, you, you wait for two rejections before you completely get rid of them. So what I mean by that is that since this incident happened, you have not reached out to her to ask her for a date. So um, it's Friday there, I'd say wait till Sunday, and then here up Sunday say, hey, so, you know, and it sounded really excited, like, oh my God, I just found this, this new restaurant in town that's just opened up, or I just found this really great activity that's gonna be so super fun. Let me know if you're, let me know if you're free on X day or, or Y day. 
and then just send that text and just leave it alone. And then just wait for her to respond. Don't try to double text her. Just see what she says. Worst case scenario, she says, or well, she doesn't respond back at all, or she says, yeah, I'm not interested anymore, but thanks a lot. And then you know, okay, you messed up, you go to the next woman. Best case scenario, she says, great, I'll be there. And then you realize, okay, who? She said, yeah, she's gonna be there. If she's gonna be there, do not bring up old stuff. Don't bring up the time that you said the thing and then thought, oh, I remember last week, I, I wanna invite you back to the place, but I know last time we saw each other, things were, don't, don't do that. Because guys have a habit of thinking they gotta bring up old stuff to talk about it. You don't have to talk about it. Like, if she's on a date with you again and agreed to it, she's trying to go out to have a good time. She's not trying to be reminded of a bad time, okay? And too many guys do that, so. But yeah, wait until Sunday, hit her up, see what she says, and then you'll know, based on that, if you're good to go, all right? But yeah, don't think that you gotta reach out to her and text her and say, hey, I wanna apologize again for the thing that I did. And it, like, no, don't do that, don't, don't, that's not, it's not needed, all right? Um, he says, I'll most likely see her at a gym on Tuesday as usual, which we set up a date for Wednesday. I don't know why you're waiting till the gym to ask her out, because now you're becoming, it's becoming a pattern, and that can become monotonous and predictable and boring. So, assuming you have her number, you should be waiting, you should be calling her before the day you see her at the gym to ask her out. So you could hit her, hit her up on Sunday, be like, hey, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to the gym on Tuesday, and I think maybe we could go do X, Y, and Z activity afterwards, like, you know, just want to kind of plan it in advance this time to make sure that, you know, you're good to go on that, and then do that. But don't, don't keep doing the same pattern every single week. That becomes very boring and predictable. And once you become predictable, women start to lose interest more often than not. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so set up with them on Tuesday as usual, which we set up a date for Wednesday each time since our schedule allows for it. Okay, so then, yeah, you should be calling her for Wednesday dates, whatever. Um, I haven't called or texted to check up on her. Good, but am hoping that only time will pass. Will will only time will pass for her to get back to how it was without feeling disrespected, etc. Well, here's the thing: is that if you start going these future dates with the energy of I know I messed up, and now I got to prove to her, you're already gonna lose. Like you need to act like this was no big deal in the grand scheme of things because it really wasn't. Like you said the thing, it wasn't the most offensive thing in the world. If she took it that way, that's on her. But you did not actually really say anything all that wrong, and so I need you to go forth as if that didn't happen. Now, if she wants to bring it up, then you can talk about it a little bit. But you bringing it up. And more importantly, even if you're not bringing it up, you bring in the energy to these dates that it's still a problem and I still got to do whatever. Women read off your energy. They're following your energy. If you go on these dates with that energy or you try to ask her out, hey, so I wonder if we could still see each other. That's that's the energy of somebody that, that says that they still have something to apologize for and you need to move as though you have nothing to apologize for. All right. And then he says, I just figured it, I'd give it time and let her get over it, but I would like to rekindle things as I felt things were, were going well. Well, there's not nothing really to rekindle. You made a, a small error in judgment of what you said, but it wasn't the most offensive thing ever. And so, if you again, if you treat this like a defeat, if you treat this like this thing's already, the flame's already gone out, you've already messed up, and you're gonna reluctantly try to go back and ask her out again, then you're going to lose. So walk in with the positive attitude of a winner that at the end of the day, you're bound to make mistakes. This will not be the first one and it will not be the last one. You will make more mistakes with her as you're dating her, whether it's intentional or not, all right? It's bound to happen. But you wanna be with a woman that's gonna see you make mistakes and then be able to move forward and learn from those mistakes. Because here's the thing about apologies. Apologies don't matter if there's no action that shows that you actually learn from it. So, you said the thing, she didn't like it. You know, going forward, maybe just don't say that thing. Boom, if she doesn't hear you say it again, you'll be fine. But if you're apologizing all the time, apologies get annoying to everybody after a while. So just some stuff to consider. So hopefully some of what I said has helped you out. Again, if you have more questions for the guy watching this, you can write to me uh, in the, the area of the Get Girls Academy where I take questions. And for the rest of you, if you would like me to answer your questions quicker and do deep dives like this, then I highly recommend that you consider checking out the Get Girls Academy at harrywilmington.com. It is chock full of some of my best programs that teach you everything from how to do online dating, how to approach women, the kind of dates to take them on, what to talk about when you're trying to get with women, how they communicate with each other and how they can better, how you can better communicate with them. And of course, the things that you need to do step by step to land the women of your dreams. Now. You can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com and I will eventually get to your message at some point. But again, you get answers a lot faster when you join the monthly community because in addition to the various things I just talked about in terms of the programs, you also get more access to me. You get you can write me emails that I'll answer a lot faster and respond to. And we have regular uh, Zoom group meetings where we can shoot the crap with each other and talk about dating stuff and what we're going through and how you know this person can help this person. It's a really, really great community that we're building over there. And so again, go to harrywilmington.com to check out the Get Girls Academy today. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I'm Harry Wilmington. I'm in Bali for my last day, so I'm going back to the pool. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.